6.06 a.m. October 9th, 2008. Approximately day 100. Maybe 101. I don't know. I've lost count. Um, what to talk about. What to talk about. So, I had mentioned in my last video that... I have got a new job which will take me overseas. Um, what I've done <laughs> for some reason is I I put my car up for sale on Craigslist just to sort of get a feel for the attention that it would get and I ended up selling it that very night. So selling my car um, essentially condemned me to sitting here with nothing to do until I leave. So I've been unemployed for I, sort of about three weeks now um, with the profit that I made from selling my car and with money that I had saved in the bank. Um, financially I am able to make it um, until I leave, which will probably be on November 19th or November 23rd. Um, in a perfect world, I would have $1,000 to take with me so I can sort of get on my feet once I'm there. <laughs> uh, you know, buy odds and ends, do all those things that you have to do when you move into a new apartment. Um, I imagine that those costs are even uh, elevated when it comes to moving to a an entirely different country. Um, just lots of pounding the pavement. Um, when I began the process, I didn't even have a passport. Um, the only other country I've ever been to is Canada. Um, and at least at that time, a few years ago, you don't even need a passport to go into Canada. I don't know if that's changed now or not. But I uh, got a passport, had to apply for my visa, had to get um, a criminal background check, had to get that a postilled, which is like a an international notary, um, had to get the pets all checked out, international health certificates with the USDA stamp, rabies vaccinations at least 30 days prior to departure, um, sealed stamped transcripts, um, pictures, tons of bullshit. It's really a long drawn out process trying to get a work visa for another country. So I guess um, <laughs> seeing what I had to go through and you know that's a couple hundred dollars I had to invest just to get this paperwork all in order. Kind of makes you almost understand the just skipping over the border thing that the uh, the folks down south of us like to do rather than do it legit because it's, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but I digress. Um, so I spent my time doing that. Um, and like I said, I've been unemployed. I've, I've really, my days have consisted of sleeping at any hours of the day. <laughs> I went to sleep one night at midnight. I went to sleep the next night at 3 p.m. I've, I've woken up at midnight, been up all night. As you can see, it's, like I said, it's six in the morning right now. Um, I've been up since maybe 5 p.m. yesterday. I stopped shaving. I, I'm really kind of a deadbeat bum right now. But it's nice. I, I've worked for um, such a long period of time. I know I'm only 27, but I've pretty much been working full-time consistently since I've been of age to work. Um, so it's nice to take a break, although I feel pretty useless right now. Um, Fitness-wise, I don't really know how I'm doing. Um, I have made some steps in the diet area, um, mostly in the caloric restriction as opposed to um, making any real meaningful alterations in my diet, um, food choice wise. Cardio, I've tried my best. I, I've made a, a, a real genuine effort to get in there to do cardio. But every time I do, it feels like my foot is broken. Um, my foot, my ankle, whatever it is, it feels like it's now in the bottom of my foot. Um, for a while there, 
for a week and a half it felt completely fine. Um, but I noticed about a week ago that I was sort of still walk walking with a hitch. Like, since it was it was paining me for so long, I actually uh, altered the, the biomechanics of my, of my walking, of my steps. So about a week ago, I noticed that I'm, my right foot, which is the one that's affected with this injury right now, um, was only really acting as sort of a, a pivot foot. I wasn't pushing off onto it, and it was sort of hitched out to the side. Um, like, this would be my left foot, and my right foot was like this. So, in order to sort of get back to walking more normally, I made an effort to, to force it back in so that both my feet were, you know, as they should be. And, uh, it just fucking hurts today. Um, bad. It doesn't hurt when it's just resting, which is good, so it's not going to affect my sleep. But um, hopping on the bike today, was it was excruciating. So I have done my best. I've gotten in there a few times, but not not nearly as much as I should be. I should be in there twice a day. Um, but that's that's legit. I mean, I'm, I'm not. This is not some his poor excuse. Um, walking on a treadmill, getting on an elliptical, getting on a bike, painful, painful, painful. Um, so I feel kind of shitty about that, but not as much as I normally would because I have made the effort. Um, weightlifting, fine. I've been doing it consistently. I'm feeling quite strong in the gym. If anything, it's getting a bit stale. Um, I need to switch it up somehow because I'm kind of getting bored with it. But strength-wise, I'm pretty much back up to par, so... You know, kudos to me for that. Uh, Weight-wise, since I've been sitting around the last three weeks and I've only made small changes to my diet and I haven't been doing as much cardio as I should be, I, I don't imagine that I've lost any significant amount of weight. Um, so that sucks, but we'll see. Also, um, I've mentioned in some previous videos that I had ordered a book that was recommended to me by a couple of different subscribers of mine. This overcoming, overeating. It's, it's a bit too self-helpy for me, but I figure I'll give it a shot. Um, I'll post a review once I've completed. I'm only, you know, roughly a third of the way into it now, and it's okay. Um, uh, I'm such a, a skeptic, kind of a pessimist, so I, I go into it with sort of a closed mind, which I'm trying to um, reverse, but I'll let you know what I think. I had to wait like a fucking month for that book to come. I ordered it like six weeks ago. I just I just got it a week ago. Um, but whatever. So I'll post a review on that if it's been helpful to me. Uh, maybe it can be helpful to you, my subscribers, who are also going through the same thing. Um, and hopefully it is. Um, it's sort of a novel approach that the authors are taking. Um, <laughs> sort of complimenting you for being a maverick. Not to reference John McCain. But for being a rebel, for going against what society says is acceptable. Um because you continue to overeat anyways. It's it's kind of laughable, but we'll see if that actually develops into anything useful. Um, so my time's running short, though. Um, so I will be departing um, out of the country either November 19th or November 23rd. I'm sure there'll be a small period of time where I don't post, where I'm getting settled in. But in the meantime, I'm doing jack shit. I have the next month to... I could just sleep the entire month if I wanted to and try to conserve my money. But unless something catastrophic happens, I, I do have that job, which is excellent. I'm really excited about doing something new. That's what drives me is doing something new. Um, short on time, um, thank you new subscribers. I'm getting up upwards of 100 now, which is pretty kick-ass. Um, those of you who are going through what I'm going through, you'll get through it. I'll get through it. We'll be okay. So I'm going to end it because I do not want to go over because, as usual, too fucking lazy to edit the video. So until next time.